Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Indiegogo Drops Black Friday live preview. I'm here with some great founders and innovators. Uh, next week, we have some super exciting deals um, around the Black Friday uh, giving holiday. And ultimately, why we're here today is we have some of uh, the highest performing drops in the past. And I decided to invite all these founders and entrepreneurs um, to this live stream today, where they're going to talk a little bit about what their offer is going to be next week and a little bit more about the product. Um, but we're also doing something super exciting. We're doing some live demos. Um, so I'm super excited to introduce uh, the panel. Um, we have a variety of products um, and founders uh, with us today. To start off, I'd like to introduce Wes. Uh, he has the Next Savior Mini. His drop is going to be occurring um, Monday uh, the 20th. Um, and Wes, would you like to just give a brief introduction about uh, Next Savior, a little bit about your story and the offering you're going to have next week? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks, Sean. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm Wes Marshall. I'm a chartered physio here in the UK. Um, and uh, I see a lot of spinal patients. Uh, in particular, I see a lot of neck pain and headache patients in my clinic. And uh, I always try and do the right thing in clinic, uh, give them the right advice, stretches to do, the right treatment, the right ergonomic advice. But on many occasions, I wish there was something I could recommend to them uh, that they could use between sessions or when sessions finished, uh, so, something they could use at home or when they travel. But I wasn't happy with any of the products that were out there. I thought they were all all terrible, all flawed in one way or another. Uh, so I decided to create a, an alternative, um, and it's called called Neck Savior, and it's a far better way. Um, it requires no setup at all. It can be used anywhere. Uh, it's comfortable and effective. Uh, and we're, we're really proud that it's, it's gone on to, to win three Design Excellence Awards as well, including including a medical one. Um, we're going to do a demo of it uh, shortly, but uh, as you say, it's going to be available in the in the, in the the drops, um, and it's usually £35, and it, we we're reducing it by uh, £10 to, to £25. Uh, I don't know what that is in dollars. We'll have to work that out, but um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a significant reduction anyway. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't wait to see the live demo. I'm excited. Um, we also have with us uh, from the Move Plus team, uh, Tom and Forrest. Would either of you like to just give a brief introduction to the product, a little bit about uh, your brand, and then what um, what you're going to be offering next week? Absolutely. Uh, Forrest Smith, uh, CEO and co-founder of Kenyon, and uh, my partner Tom here. We're we're uh, super excited to talk to you guys a little bit about what we're doing with laser therapy um, and. I think similar to Wes, uh, we we started our company around um, really trying to help people get out of pain and inflammation. Uh, we we make laser therapy devices, and when we came to market, uh, you really couldn't find laser therapy devices below uh, ten to fifteen thousand dollars for home use. And uh, we've we've had a great experience with the support from Indiegogo to date uh, for being able to introduce the product to tens of thousands of people in our first year of business, and, and we're really just trying to work in, in alignment with our mission as a company, which is to increase the quality of life for the largest number of people we can in the most substantial and measurable way we can. And uh, we can talk a little bit more about the tech and science of the product and how we do that by inflammation reduction um, and uh, soft tissue remodeling, just improvement in cardiovascular tissue as well uh, as we go into the tech and science piece of this, but really appreciate the opportunity to be here with you guys today and, and share a little bit more about the product. Thank you, Forrest. And um, if I didn't, if I didn't hit it already, the Move Plus drop will be going live um, the twenty first. Uh, that's Tuesday next week. Um, and stay tuned; though, there's going to be some super exciting deals there. Um, we also have Min with the Ammo Fit team. Uh, Min, would you like to give a just brief introduction about the product, uh, your team, and then what you'll be offering next week? Uh, sure. Hi, uh, this is Min from. Um, I'm the CEO of Ammo Lab. Uh, we are based in both uh, South Korea and the United States. And uh, our product, AmoFit S, is a wellness device more like a necklace and um, that improves sleep, stress, and anxiety. Uh, the device generates uh, the electromagnetic signals to uh, regulate your uh, nervous system activities uh, by stimulate the, stimulating the cardiac branch of the vagus nerve and activating the vagal tone and parasympathetic nervous system. And our CVES technology, which is uh, cervical thoracic vagus electromagnetic stimulation, uh, it's a non-contact neuromodulation technology uh, with nine inch radius of effective range. And in the first clinical trial that we conducted, we, uh, we got a clinical result in which uh, the activity of the parasympathetic nervous system 
was increased by more than uh, 275% within 24 hours. So, uh, um, so just the Amophil S plus that we'll be dropping next week is a limited edition that has immunity function in addition to the uh, to the uh, original function of Amophil S. So uh, I'll be um, showing you the product later on during the demo. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you, man. So I'm super excited to see all these products. Uh, definitely high tech. Um, I love that we're focusing in the health and wellness sector. I feel like everyone can benefit from these products. They're not just for a specific demographic. So I'm super excited about all of them. I'm a user of all of them. Um, so with all that being said, um, I'd like to get into the demo section. And this is where we're going to get uh, hands-on um, with the tech products that you all have with you. And ultimately, these are the products that are going to be released for an exclusive drop uh, next week um, on those selected dates. Um, so without that being said, I'd like to kick it off with Wes. Um, feel free to just give, um, I guess, take it away. Um, we'd yeah. love to learn a little bit more about uh, Next Save Your Mini and how it works and ultimately what it looks like in use. Okay, well, as I said, um, it's ever so simple to use. It acts like a spring, so it's made from foam. And if you fold it in half, it wants to revert back to being flat. But if you put it behind your, your neck, uh, the contact points are on the head and the shoulders. So it acts as, as a spring to gently lift the, the head from the, from the neck and the neck from the shoulders. So it just elongates the whole spine. Um, and what that does is it takes pressure off of the... Um, the joints and the nerves and it stretches the soft tissue and it increases the blood flow to the area so you can see uh from from this uh, this demonstration you can see bridget's neck being lengthened in here um by the contact points on the skull and on on the top of the shoulders so while bridget just lays there it's just gently stretching the neck and and, and decompressing i mean everybody gets really tight these days in their neck it's an overuse of tech we're on computers we're sitting it sitting in the office etc but it, it can be from leisure activities as well where you're um you know, maybe cycling or hockey or what or, or in the gym where you're overloading the neck and, and the muscles in the in the upper limbs and the shoulders um but it, it creates an effective but safe and comfortable stretch of the neck um and you can use it for up to 15 to 20 minutes at a time um, and many headaches stem, uh, stem from the neck as well. They're called cervicogenic headaches, and people are they're they're not aware of just how many headaches that often they're mis misdiagnosed as migraines, headaches that refer into the into the back of the eye and across to the side of the head. Many of them have their origin in the neck, and they're called cervicogenic headaches. Um, and they can they uh, stretching the neck in this kind of way and acting with with soft trigger point release. Can actually relieve relieve those symptoms a lot of the time without the need for medication, and and that's that's part of what we're we're aiming for is is something as an alternative to ongoing use of medication, um, and something people can easily use and comfortably use between between physiotherapy sessions and and like I say when uh, um, um, when when therapy needs to come to an end, and not everyone can afford you know physiotherapy sessions or chiropractic or osteopathy, so um, it's a it's a very nice simple alternative. Um, I'm just going to get Bridget to demonstrate it again so you can just see how easy it is to use. So you just literally fold it in half and place it behind the neck and just just relax onto it. It, it really is that simple. So it requires no setup and, um, uh, and, and you don't need anything other than the floor, that is. Um, what I haven't said is if you use it white side in, that's a light stretch. And if you turn it round and use it dark side in, that's a strong stretch. So you've got an alternative. So it's either white side in for a light stretch or dark side in for a strong stretch. That's it, just as simple as that. Wes, that, that is so cool. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you came up with this product and a little bit about the story behind it? Yeah, of course. So it was born out of, out of necessity. I just, I couldn't recommend anything that was out there most of the devices out there, they, they put pressure onto the jaw like this. And that's actually a very bad thing to do for the neck pain and headache patient group because it puts pressure through the TMJ. And people that have neck pain and headaches very often suffer there as, as well. They're often teeth clenchers. So it's a very bad idea to put that kind of force through, through the jaw. And, and you can't relax like that. So I wanted something that people could just lie on that gently stretches their neck for them while they just lay there. Um, the actual moment came because I had so many patients I wanted to be able to recommend it to. Uh, but couldn't recommend something. There was nothing out there like it. 
And then what happened was I received a, a, a small item in a large box of packing foam. And I took the small fragile item out and I was pushing the foam back into the box to try and get rid of it. But it, it wouldn't it wouldn't go back in. And something went went ping in my brain. And I suddenly realized actually foam could make could be a solution. It's incredibly powerful when it's deformed and it. Um, uh, it, it, it's it, it's very moldable. You can get it into exactly the kind of shapes you want. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't quite as simple as that. I mean, it took seventy prototypes and four years of development to get it exactly honed how we wanted it. But but it, yeah, foam proved to be the solution. And uh, yeah, and it, it, it's gone on to sell. We've well, we've sold sold it to eighty different countries. So we're we're really pr proud of what we've achieved. We're only a small team, but we're uh, we're very proud of what what we've achieved so far. Yeah, no, I, I love that story. Also, just the necessity part of it as well. Um, so keeping on trend with staying away from um, staying away from medications and developing solutions to improve um, uh, overall pain in different regions of the body, I'm going to pass this off to the Move Plus team. Love to hear a little bit more about the story behind the product, the story behind the brand. And then if you have the product in hand, just a little little demo of how simple it is. Yeah, that sounds great, Sean. I think I'll start off with a, a little demo. I think, Forrest, you might have one on your knee at the moment. So if I talk a bit about that, and then Forrest will go into a bit about the origin story and how we got connected. So as you said, we are Kinian, and this is our first product to market, which is called the Move Plus, or the Move Plus Pro, as it's now been upgraded to. And it comes in a super cool travel case like that with charge cables inside and straps and charge box inside and they're powered by these beautiful little modules here so it comes with three of these guys which contain lasers and leds it's the only led and laser product like this in the market there's a home use and that simply goes into a strap connection like this um i think forrest has maybe got one onto his knee what he can give you a bit more of a demo on so that's how it would attach that particular location on your knee you could put it onto your elbow your shoulder on your neck and your ankle anywhere there's any pain or inflammation, which could be from uh, an actual injury, such as an ACL tear or something quite traumatic like that. Or if you've just been in the gym and and uh, a recent article from Sean, yourself uh, from IGG, the, the saying about you doing workouts and things, bit of an injury on your wrist, and you can just use it there for recovery, pain and, and, and inflammation reduction. Um, we are we're absolutely delighted with the product so far. It's being used by CrossFitters all around the world um nfl a whole range of different sports stars all around the world but also everyday home use people are, are finding amazing results from it especially with knee pain arthritis things like this where we, we go on a pain scale of zero to ten and if people are a six seven eight pain often they just want to get to a level two or three level pain and then be able to get to work through that over time and what the device does is it allows people to get to that keep going keep the motion um, and recovery processing and recovery journey. Boris, great summary. You, you know, I just, just to add a couple of things there from the technical standpoint, I, I think we're, we're using, um, when we started designing this product, our goal was to make something that was uh, wearable and home use as a laser therapy device because there hasn't been uh, that available. And it's, it's a very, from a technology standpoint, it's a very real and meaningful alternative to pharmaceuticals from a, a pain and inflammation standpoint. So, uh, and, and I don't think that it's widely known how damaging NSAIDs, so non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are from a cardiovascular and soft tissue standpoint. So if you're taking chronic, uh, you know, right now a gold standard uh, treatment for osteoarthritis, for example, is uh, NSAIDs. And it's a really damaging thing physiologically long-term, particularly for older users. And it was really our goal uh, to, to kind of, our, our mission as a company is to increase the quality of life for the largest number of people we can in the most substantial and measurable way we can. And we found that pain and inflammation is something that starts, uh, that really triggers kind of a, a downward spiral for a lot of users, particularly in their older years, where, uh, you know, when you stop moving, uh, if you have pain in your knee, you stop moving as much, you start losing that range of motion, you start losing the effectiveness of the joint in being able to move. Uh, the name of our company, Kenyon, is based on the Greek kineo for movement, uh, because when you're moving, you are just more healthy. And we felt like being able to bring a product that people could use at home, uh, that's a reasonable cost, not the ten to fifteen thousand dollar clinical version um, that people could use at home every day was going to make the difference in being able to provide those outcomes for people and get them back into movement. And in line with that, what we're doing from our drops is uh, taking forty percent off of our 
uh, retail price and really offering people a, a, a much cheaper alternative for uh, NSAIDs long term. Um, it's only for 24 hours. So we, we, uh, we've had a great success. We had great support from Indiegogo. This is something where our community here is, has really supported us. And uh, the Indiegogo team uh, internally has just been amazing. So we, we really want to be able to reach back out and offer what we can in line with our mission to get this in as many hands and on as many uh, inflamed and painful joints as, as possible. So uh, we're we're taking the opportunity to really do that to go to go hard in on it with the discounts for the the drops, and hopefully we'll see a lot of people take advantage of that. Yeah, no, I appreciate I appreciate that both from you and uh, or from Tom and Forrest. Um, okay. Love the product. Um, I myself am an I've become an avid user now. Um, Tell me a little bit more about some of the activities and how you can actually use it from a day to day in your recommendation. So I myself have one um, and you have some great articles online, but I'd love to hear a little bit from the founders of what's the frequency of recommended use, um, what type of activities um, are best before, after, before use or after use. So I, I think uh, to answer that, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have to frame it a little bit with context. Um, the uh, it depends on how big of a knucklehead you are. Uh, the the uh, I I'm 43 years old and I still play rugby and I train CrossFit, which is two things that are going to put a lot of strain on your joints. And uh, I I use mine daily uh, because of that. So we're we're um, you know uh, lower back. Uh, I'm a tall CrossFitter, so uh, lower back from deadlift is always giving me problems. Um, I've I've had a uh, meniscus tear when I was younger grappling, and so that still flares up with inflammation. But I, I use mine daily from a, a injury and kind of tissue recovery standpoint. Uh, there's a couple of other things that you can do for it uh, that I, I do as well. Um, and so I'll just kind of give you my, my own personal, and, and Tom might want to as well. Um, my own personal experience for it is if my knee is flared up and I still want to go train, usually that would take me three weeks to reduce that inflammation uh, to kind of, and, and for the first few days, I would have to take some kind of painkillers or inflammation reduction because the knee is swelling up and I just can't move otherwise. Um, what I find now is three days in from treatment, I'm back into training and it's, it's not a hundred percent, but I'm back into something where my range of motion is enough um, that if I'm not doing kind of uh, heavy impact uh, box jumps or, or rope, uh, something like this, that I'm okay for training. I can still do squats and, and lunges and things like this. So I, I use it from a recovery standpoint and it saves me a ton of time and it's helped me kind of get stronger and work through kind of injuries a lot faster. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually increase the quality of your workouts. And so there's some very good literature on this recently relative to uh, particularly endurance athletes. So if you treat yourself before the training, you can, and, and you're a rower or a runner or a cyclist, you can actually increase the cardiopulmonary functionality. So your, your performance from a, an endurance standpoint, from a cardiovascular standpoint is going to be more effective. Um, I am not a cardio athlete. I'm, I'm not an endurance athlete. What I find uh, the most useful in my day to day with my training is if I do high volume uh, exercises uh, where I know I'm going to be sore, uh, this will actually re reduce the uh, delayed onset muscle soreness. And there's a couple of things that mediate that, but um, essentially it's it's all inflammation-based. There's two good inflammation markers that we track, uh, creatinine kinase and C-reactive proteins, uh, which are very commonly tracked uh, muscle uh, inflammation, muscle inflammatory markers. And we reduce these by high double digits. So uh, and I always get them backwards, but in our early trials, it's 60 and 80% essentially um, average uh, per user reduction based on intense training and using the device within 15 minutes on those uh, heavily intensely trained muscles. Um, and the, the results are amazing. So if you're, if you're an athlete and you want to train harder and recover better, this is something that I can actually help you both from a muscle inflammatory marker, but also from a central nervous system impact, uh, from those, uh, that the muscle inflammation. So there's a number of things for it. We also see people using it for things like headaches. Um, so there's, there's a number of different type of headaches. So we try to be a little bit more specific on these when we, when we uh, talk about it, but, um, headaches that are uh, stress-induced, we introduce nitric oxide. Uh, it reduces the affinity for nitric oxide binding to hemoglobin, dumps a bunch of nitric oxide in the area, and is is a uh, very effective uh, treatment for a number of different stress-induced headache uh, mechanisms. Um, with that said, that's that's you know that's not all. Uh, headaches are a, a really uh, kind of uh, broad uh, cause uh, pain point. Um, 
And then the other thing that we see really has been great is uh, either osteoarthritis, and this is typically with our older cohort of users, osteoarthritis, uh, so chronic inflammation, uh, and then um, recovery from surgery. Uh, it, and there's a couple of different mediators for that, but increased production of collagen two and uh, more effective tissue generation around the scars. Uh, and there's some great microscopy work on this that you can see actually the collagen lining up into a more flexible, better matrix uh, than it does when it's and it's generated without the the light therapy treatment. So it's there's a number of different treatments for it, but it just depends on what your what your use case is as a as an individual. The main thing to remember is if you have inflammation, it's a really bad thing for your body in general. And the pain is something they're notifying you to it, but what you what you really want to focus on is reducing that inflammation. So uh, hopefully that that helps uh, answer some of the use cases. Um, if anybody has any more questions on those, they can, they can definitely feel free to reach out to us uh, from, from uh, kinian.io. Yeah, no, thank, thank you, Forrest. I really appreciate um, that detailed uh, just explanation. Uh, learned, learned a tremendous amount um, just about the product and I'm even a user of it, so I'm definitely excited to put that to use. Hopefully, I don't need surgery in the future. <laughs> um, with that being said, um, I'm super excited to introduce Min. Um, he's with the AmmoFit team. We also This is also a high-tech health device. Um, Min, I'll let you kind of give a brief demo of the product, how it works. I'd love to learn a little bit more about the technology behind it um, and a little bit more about your story. Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. And um, our team actually initially planned to develop a wearable device uh, for treating chronic pain, but um, we discovered a treat treatment protocol that rapidly increases the uh, heart rate variability, the HRV in an experiment. So uh, then we found the possibility to restore the balance of the autonomic nervous system. And so uh, we decided to create the products to treat um, age-related chronic conditions. And um, this device uh, for sleep and stress is the first step toward our goal. Um, so uh, I know uh, this is the package or product. Um, there is um, uh, this manual inside, and uh, I don't know it's showing right now. Okay, so there's a device and um, yeah, the necklace and cables. So um. Uh, as you can see, MOFIT S Plus is a wearable device with a simple interface. Uh, we can, uh, you can use our silicone necklace to wear, wear the device around your neck, or you can also use the um, clip on the back of the device um, to clip to the collar. So all you need to do is touch and hold the power button uh, for three seconds to turn on the device. And um, I know, um, yeah, <laughs> so it's turned on. And um, you will then start to blink in green and operate in calm mode. Uh, then you can choose a mode by switching uh, the, um, by touching and holding the mode selection area, uh, which is the right side of the device for three seconds from calm mode to focus mode and uh, to immunity mode. So um, once the device is turned on, it will operate for uh, one session, which is three hours and um, it will then turn off automatically. So uh, um, yeah, uh, we've, added the new functions to our recent version 2.1 devices. Uh, so we added the lock function in order to prevent the touch buttons from being operated um, unintentionally. Uh, you, you can lock the device by uh, touching the power button three times in a row. And um, the device also has the function to uh, deactivate the automatic power off. And um, it will allow the device to operate continuously without um, turning off after the three hour limit. Um, so basically um, you don't need an app um, no sub no subscription no add-ons so all you all you all you need is just this device um yeah that's it <laughs> thank you yeah thank you Ben so um if I'm a user of the device and I'm stressed uh can you walk me through say I'm stressed from work or just had a long day can you walk me through kind of what that experience is like am I just putting this on my neck pressing the on button and then just being patient? Um, or is this more or less something that is uh, built up over time? Oh, so it's ba basically the um, basically depends on individuals. So um, our clinical result and user user uh, experiences have shown that um, the the more severe your symptom is, and um, the uh, faster and higher effect you get from the device. So um, 
of our users are mostly um, using the device um, throughout the day, like for example, a one to two sessions, which is about um, three to six hours per day during, um, during while they're just doing the daily tasks or while they're at work. And um, uh, the device is actually designed to, uh, to be worn during, during your daily life. Cause so that's, that's why it's like a necklace. So, um, um, but people can also use the device uh, during sleep and it's during sleep in bed. Because um, just for your inf information, many users report higher uh, benefits from using the device during sleep. So um, oh, we are actually recommending um, one to two sessions per day, and but there's no problem to use use the calm mode for for longer hours um, every day. Because um, many customers who are experiencing benefits uh, from our products are using the device more than three sessions every day uh, with their expectation for um, greater effects. Mm -hmm. No, no, I really appreciate that um, that explanation. And it sounds like such a simple product to use. I love um, the feature, the simplicity, like you mentioned. Uh, there's no subscriptions needed, no apps needed. It's super simple. And to be honest, all these products are super simple. There's no initial setup required, um, which I love to see. It's just straight out of the box and ready to use, um, which always makes it easier and even more exciting when you receive a product. Um, so... <laughs> Again, thank you so much for all the co-founders uh, for uh, hopping on this call. I'm really excited about these drops next week. Again, we have the Next Savior mini drop that is occurring on the 20th. That's Monday. Um, stay tuned for that. Basically, what it's going to be is you're going, uh, any of the backers who are viewing this or anyone who's interested to learn more, you'll be able to have access to this drop um, in the early hours um of monday the 20th um you can find it on our indiegogo homepage you might also be receiving being an email about it from either these founders or the indiegogo team um and the same goes for the move plus drop which is on the 21st that's tuesday next week and uh the ammo fit uh drop which is the 22nd which is also next week these are the three drops that are occurring in next week um, uh, we have hand selected these drops. Reason being is they're some of our uh, coolest devices on the platform. They also are some of our best selling devices on the platform. So our consumers are speaking with their dollars and they're continually making purchases of these uh, technologies. So that's why we keep on inviting them back um, to the program. And we're so happy to have you all. Uh, so with that being said, um, I really enjoyed this Black Friday uh, preview live stream. Um, and really enjoyed interacting with some of these founders. I know we talk a lot um, on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'm happy to put a face and I'm happy to show your faces to our community as well. So I'd like to say just a big thank you to all the founders again. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned on the upcoming drop deals next week. And then as always, if you want to know, learn more about these products, check out their campaign pages. There's a lot of detailed information. There's great content, great videos. They also have websites. And as you all mentioned, um, they're incredibly interactive with their audiences. Feel free to shoot them an email, ask them questions. This is something that's super unique about crowdfunding. You can actually touch base with the people, the creators of these unique products and industries. Um, so with that being said, um, again, I thank you all so much for your time and I'll see you all uh, next week, hopefully on the Indiegogo platform for the drops. Thank you very Bye much. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.